So I already primed on my skin. I used the Ambient Light Correcting Primer by Hourglass. And then I'm just going to prep my lips. I'm using the Sugar Candy by Fresh Lip Treatment. This stuff is bomb. Next for the face, I'm going in with the Kevin Aquan the Etherealist Concealer in the shade EC Light 01. This is the lightest shade. You could totally use a really light foundation, but I didn't have any really light ones that were matte, and I really didn't want to use something that was dewy, and this concealer right here dries to a matte finish, which I really love, So, and I thought it would be really great for this look. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this all over the face and dab it out with a damp beauty blender. I also decided to apply it to my body, so I'm taking it down the neck, well not my whole body, just what you guys can see. So I'm taking it down the neck, and just like along my decolletage, and we're just going to go ahead and do the same thing, blend that out with a damp beauty blender. Okay, I don't know where that clip went. Final Cut Pro is trying to play me, but I basically showed you guys that I was using the Airspun Powder, and I'm just going to go ahead and set all of that concealer that I just put down. Okay, so for the brows, I'm going in with the Pure Cosmetics and Ishin Ortega Collab Palette, and I'm picking up 3AM. It's a very jet black matte shade, and we're just going to go ahead and run this through the brows with an angled brow brush. I am going to be arching my brows a little bit more than usual today because I want this look to look very just... Not sinister, but like just very deviant, I guess you would say. So we're just going to go ahead and arch them brows. I want to make sure that my brows are very thick and very filled in. But I am going to do kind of like an Instagram brow and fade it through to the inner brow. So yeah, we're going to just rock and roll with that look. So next I'm taking Muddy, which is a matte brown shade, and we're going to run that through the crease and upper crease. I'm also going to be switching brushes in a minute, and we're just going to go ahead and deepen up the inner third of the crease and then the outer third of the crease just to add some dimension and depth to those areas. So now I'm just dipping back into 3AM and we're just going to pack that shade all over the lid and I'm going to be blending out the edges as well just so it diffuses nicely into the crease shade. So here I'm just taking that matte brown shade and just running it along the lower lash line and then I'm going to go back in with 3AM which is that matte black shade and we're going to apply that to the outer third of the lower lash line just to define that area a little bit more and connect it with our lid shade. And now time for the glitter. Of course, all of our favorite part. So this is the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow in the shade Diamond Dust. And it's basically kind of like a silvery glitter with a little bit of gold. And you could totally mix like silver and gold glitter together and get pretty much the same result. So I'm just going to dab that all over the lid and then dab it on my lower lid, but like right in the center. And because every evil queen needs some winged liner, I'm going in with the Sigma Line Ace Liquid Liner to create our wings. I'm also going to be taking our liner to a point right here in the inner corner. And I'm just going in with this shimmering brownish eyeliner pencil. It's the NARS Velvet Eyeliner Pencil in the shade Santiago. It's new in the NARS collection. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and run that through the waterline. I didn't want to run red through here. I wanted to run something that had like a red undertone. So that's why I went with this instead. And then for falsies, we're just going to pop these on. These are Scandalash falsies in Berlin. And then we're just going to go ahead and start to contour, start to hollow out our cheekbones, hollow out our bone structure to make us look a little bit more like death. So I'm just going to go ahead and take it along my, or underneath my cheekbones, and then I'm dragging it down to like the sides of my mouth kind of, just so we get that kind of skeletal-ish look going on. And we are going to make sure that I get around the perimeter of the forehead, I make sure that I apply it and concentrate it on my temples, um, and then we're going to go ahead and take it down the body too. 
So here we're just gonna make ourselves look real skinny, real extra skinny girl. And I'm just gonna go ahead and hollow out my neck area, my decolletage area. I want my collarbones to look really just sunken in but sticking out at the same time. So <laughs> yeah, so we're just gonna go ahead and just contour around those areas. And I'm taking this um, more pale powder and we're going to use that right on top of our collarbones just to make them protrude a little bit more and I'm just gonna apply it to any areas that I want to protrude a little bit more then I'm going in with this darker contour shade and I'm going to use that to deepen up the areas that I wanted to have sink in So I'm defining my neck area to make it look a little bit more skeletal, but this was totally pointless because I was wearing that huge choker. If you're not wearing a choker, this is really cool. It gives you a nice effect to the neck, but if you are going to be wearing like a huge choker like I was, then you can probably just totally skip that step. Here I'm just adding that darker contour shade just to deepen up my face and hollow out my face a little bit more. I'm using a smaller blending brush to do this just so we can get a little bit more definition going on. I'm also going to take this around the perimeter of my forehead, along my temples. I'm going to be contouring the nose as well. And then moving on to the lips, we're just going to go ahead and conceal the lips. I'm just taking the same concealer that I used in the beginning, concealing the lips, blending it out with the Beauty Blender, and then setting it with that same powder. And then I'm just going in with the Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit Liquid Lipstick in the shade Video Vixen. It's kind of like a deep, really deep, vampy burgundy shade. And I'm just going to dab that in the inner portion of my lower lip, inner portion of my upper lip, and then blend it out with a nice little fluffy brush. So now I'm just going directly in using the wand that the liquid lipstick comes with and we're just going to apply that a little bit more inside the lip. This way we get like a gradient effect going on. And then I'm just going to go in with the Ben Nye Cuts and Bruises wheel and then the Ben Nye Bruises wheel. There's just particular colors that I like from each wheel so we're just going to use both. So I'm taking the red shade from the Cuts and Bruises wheel and I'm using a very very small liner brush to create some veins that are going from the inner portion of the mouth outwards and upwards and we're going to kind of feather out the ends of them so they're not so harsh. So we're going to concentrate the majority of the shade towards the inner portion of the lip and then feather it outward and upward. Okay, so I wiped off my brush and I'm wiping off my brush in between each different color. And so what I did was I just took the green shade, it's kind of like an olive-y kind of green shade from the bruises wheel. And we're just gonna go ahead and create those same types of lines. I'm kind of dragging them upwards from the red lines a little bit, but then also dragging them upwards from the center of the lip as well. So I'm doing kind of both because I'm just making little veins and trying to make it look as realistic as possible even though this is totally a fictional character, obviously. <laughs> I'm also going in with the navy blue shade from the Bruises palette. You can use any navy blue paint that you have or liquid lipstick or eyeliner that you have to do this with. You don't have to use these exact palettes if you don't have them or you don't want to grab them. Um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and deepen up the ends of the red veins that I put down. I'm also gonna deepen up the inner portion of the mouth. I think I decided to do this a little bit later on in the video, but I do do that eventually. So now I'm just taking this red shade from the Pure Cosmetics My Little Pony The Movie palette and I'm just going to go ahead and dab this just in certain areas around the mouth area just to make it look a little bit irritated, sucking in all them soles, you know, your mouth is a little irritated, girl. So we're just going to go ahead and make our mouth look a little irritated. And then I just decided our queen needed a little bit more glitter, so I'm just taking the wand from that Stila Glitter and Glow Magnificent Metal Stick, and we're just going to go ahead and just add a little bit more glitter to that lower lash line. I'm keeping the upper lid the same, just adding more glitter to the lower lash line so she looks real glam. And I'm just adding a little bit more contouring powder on the sides of my nose just to get a little bit more along the lines of that death look we're going for. 
And then after that, we just put on everything else. And this is the final look. I hope you guys have a safe and amazing Halloween. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell, and thumbs up the video. Bye, guys.